welcome back. We're late out today. The van's there, Michelle and Maximus are in. Freya's coming with me. And we're just going up to the top because there was a glorious sunset. Oh wow, you can just about see the last of it now. You may just be able to make it out. It's very windy up here. Uh, we're up Pendle. And there's some 360 views. But that way is the most stunning. I've missed the best of it. There's no image from here. I'd have to get up to the top of this other peak over there. Down there, we've got Pendle Ski Club. We were gonna go across to Jeffrey's Hill, which is over that way, but the sun was setting last. I had to run up to see the last of the light. That'll be Winter Hill over there as well with the mast on. Wow, it's lovely up here. Let's try and get back down before it's dark. Are you there? Okay, come on then. Good morning, good morning. Uh, we are on our little park up just outside of Skipton uh, on the A59. And we have, well, it was about five o'clock. I woke up and thought, oh, it's a bit chilly now. So I tried to switch the diesel heater on and it's decided to throw up several different errors every time it comes on, but it won't start and fire. Um, now we're not deathly cold and we do have the backup of the mini electric heater. Uh, we're about 16 inside at the moment and five outside. Good morning, Maximus and Mummy. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> uh, Love it. Michelle doesn't like being on the camera until she's at least had uh Well, I've just washed my face and brushed my hair. It would just be, you know. <laughs> the van, you don't have to get to see the van in night mode, but... Tip mode. Tip mode, yeah. Well, it's always a tip. But yeah, it's actually a lived-in van. We do actually sleep in it and come away in it and stay in it. Um, it's just Shell doesn't like to show the lived-in side of being in a van. But yeah, it's... Uh, and it's not that I don't like to show the lived-in side of being in the van. It's just that I don't like tip everywhere. I don't like tip everywhere anyway. But to actually film it and broadcast it... But Maximus was up at... Uh, midnight for a midnight snack. He wanted to go to bed early, so he was asleep, wasn't he, for eight o'clock, half eight. Um, then he was up at midnight for a midnight snack. Then he rambled around. It wasn't me. It was you. Hey, game, can I do a ball, please? <laughs> No. Right, I've opened the case up because it keeps coming up with three different faults. It gives me an E03, an E10 and an E11, but they're all pointing to a short somewhere. So I'm going to open this up and just have a quick look at the integrity of the wires inside. They don't look bad. Probably still. Well, if we can fix this one, then we'll be okay, won't we? I'm gonna have to check the glow plug now. Luckily, I've got my bag with me, so I'll get my meter out. I've had a look if there's anyone locally that we could perhaps collect one from, like an eBay seller or anything. There's not. Manchester's the closest, and we're just outside of Skipton. And Fishface wants to have a look round Skipton today. Do you want to go and have a look round Skipton today? Yes. Stop calling me uh, Fishface. Fish <laughs> Stop calling me Fishface. <laughs> it's not Fishface. Aww. Oh. 
Right, so we're going to uh, head into Skipton and actually have a look around this time because he's got new walking boots, haven't you? Yes. Well, after saying he wanted to come and look around Skipton, he won't get out of the van. <laughs> And I'm not going to argue with him. Uh, Shell spotted a body shop. So she was straight in there. And the bells of Holy Trinity. Nice. 1676. Bad, is it? Skip the town hall over there, and then you've got the castle at the top. Church first, castle entrance is just around the corner. But we're not going to get to go in the castle, are we? He won't even get out of the van now that we're here. And as we spot them in their natural habitat, lotions and potions. <laughs> uh, he just wants to play with the alarm because I've put new batteries in the alarms. Crikey, we're not even going to get to look around the uh, the town, are we? It's a busy place, isn't it, with all the traffic coming through. It's quite a busy town centre, really. Wonder how old the red line is. Sandwiched between add ons. stays open because it's just so sad people are losing their jobs she was a really lovely lady have we lost ours in Southport? we lost it a long time ago Graham I don't shop at the body shop <laughs> I do I like as it as you can tell by my uh, great complexion and skin Shell's always telling me off telling me I should be wearing uh, Factor 50 SPF all the time now Sun damage. I think I think I'm already weathered. I was weathered at 14. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, but all weathered. Snow. We're gonna leave Skipton, we're gonna head somewhere else, and we'll catch up with you in a bit. See you later. So where are we? We're at East, Riddleston, East Riddleston Hall. Well, there we go, East Riddleston, Riddleston Hall. Hall. She saw it on the sign. It's a National Trust one, and we don't really know anything about it. It was just at the side. <laughs> That's a noisy lot. Is that a murder? I know, the little lot. I bet it looks pretty when it's all done. Yeah. Ha, 
We're not going to get time to look in there, are we? No. We just don't get time to do anything. <laughs> £6.50 an adult. That's not too bad. We should get the National Trust membership. Yes. I keep saying it. Well, I'm happy to do that. We can come in all these places, and then it doesn't matter if we can only get in for three minutes. Well, yeah. And he decides he's having a mission. We can just come out, can't we? It's been a bit of a funny one today, really. We're just, uh, well, just parked up there, but we are at uh, Shevin Forest Park, just up the way from Ilkley, um, just down the way from Otley. Um, we drove through Ilkley before. He didn't want to get out there either. Uh, he wanted to find some water, so we went all the way across the top of Ilkley Moor and then came back down the other side. Uh, on the Keithley side, uh, we found um, that old house. I can't remember what it's called now. I'll put that in. Uh, but he didn't want to get out there and have a look. So we continued on. Uh, we didn't find anything. The, the, the big rivers are quite high because there's been quite a bit of rain. Uh, the little streams are full and didn't really have any stones. So we're at this uh, Shevin. Forest Park and we're on East Shevin Road at one of the lower car parks. Now we met a nice chap there and hello if you watch. Um, he was just having a rest, he cares for his wife so he was just having a rest for an hour but we were getting chatting and he was thinking about building out a camper van so we were just chatting about the camper van and he was saying about the top car park but well, we saw the top car park on par for a night and unfortunately it was part of the uh, dog walking society. Um, we all know what we mean by that. And also the boy racers hang out or come down between one and two in the morning apparently and start throwing donuts. It's a bit steep that, so I would imagine that down there will be Otley then. Uh, it looks like there's a reservoir over there. It's very muddy up here at the moment. Like I say, we've had quite a wet one. When it's not been snowing, it's been raining. Wow. I don't know if there's a path here. Ooh. <laughs> Silly things. But I thought this path went up to the top, but it, it would appear not. But let's see if I can get up and over there. Oh, that's a bit of a misstep there. We're getting out to the end there. There's a good tree there we can push up. Oh, we're up on this one. Now, let's see. So you can see it does, it does look like a pathway. These rocks are really quite impressive. Um, but I don't know. I think Shell just came up to the bench before with Freya. I don't think she came up any further because it looks like it goes down before it comes back up, so. I think people take this way, uh, which I don't like to say, I don't mind a bit of a scramble, but when it's very wet, it becomes a bit more risky underfoot. It feels like it could snow. Now I'm definitely on some higher path here. Wow. Yeah, we've come up quite a bit from that footpath. It does look like there's a pathway down here. So we'll follow this one for a minute. Look at that. Let's have a look over here. I 
Oh yeah, let's have a go. <clears throat> People have been carving in the stone. How far? Oh, we're a good way up now. I definitely wouldn't want to bring Maximus up here. Pathways look like they walk all the way down and round. Look like they come off there into a public footpath and then there's a lower pathway there. Another pathway on the way up here. But this is a grand view spot here. Oh, maybe yeah, I can get down to the other path probably there. Well, this one continues on. Uh, maybe, I may be able to get back down there. Oh. oh, someone's built some kind of outcrop there. Do not enter, wow. Wow, look at that, natural little set off point. Yeah, you can see a few people, wow. It's probably a bit steeper than first anticipated this. And it's definitely, definitely wet underfoot. Well, let's see. Best way from here. Maybe. That looks like there's been a bit of slide in. This looks very boggy here. And possible slip sliding, ankle breaking territory. Use a tree for a bit of balance. Not that I think that tree had stopped me if I went. Oh, here we go. Through this way. Oh. And you can give me a hand there. Oh, don't fall at the end. Last bit. And we're out. Wow. That wasn't too bad. A bit steeper than I thought, but not too bad. Definitely changes the perspective a little, heading on up there. I think these are the ones I was stood on. It, it really feels like snow. Anyway, I'll head back. See you in a bit.